Hey everybody, this is John Scarborough. As promised, I wanted to go over everything with this bail on roller, kind of talk about what we did. We are going to have a second video going over some of the build on it, so y'all stay tuned for that. But this video is going to be going over what we've actually got. So y'all watch on here. The one thing that we haven't got finished is we haven't got these held in so these spears can still come out. So I've still got to get that done. And then I've also got to get, uh, I'll probably have a plate or something welded on this. But this is a guide to keep you from going too low to the ground, keep you from hitting stumps and things like that. Alright, so kind of give it a walk around Savannah and let's look at it. We've done some changes to this, guys. So I'm going to show you all the different changes here in just a little bit. Like I said, I know that there are several of these online right now. different ones you know there's ones that I really like and then there's other ones that I don't I tried to kind of go gear things towards what we face here on, on our place we face uh, we've got steep inclines really rough ground like on our place over here we've got ground that's just clear cut nasty ground big rough holes and it can be really hard to get in there's also a lot of creeks to get in and out so I've modified some things and made some things work for us also, if y'all look back at that old video, you know that I built this off of an old bale uh, spear, trailer spear. So I kind of worked with the parts that I had, okay? So this was an upgrade. I did go ahead and go get a boat winch. I'm really happy that I did this. Um, it's got both, you know, forward and reverse. You can just kind of push down and re release it like that. I made it to where you got your D-ring, easy to get on and off. But I went ahead and get, went with that. The other one had a cable. I didn't like it. Okay, I really like this a lot better with this strap. Another thing that I did here is I went, if y'all watched the old video, I changed my hitch. I did not use the other one. The other one is a bulldog hitch. Okay, a bulldog hitch is great. It's awesome. It's the best hitch in my opinion. I went with this hitch because although it's not a bulldog hitch, it's quick release. It's easy to get off. Okay, I like that better for this because we don't, we don't need a bulldog hitch on this. We don't need anything amazing on this. The only thing that would be nice to have on this is a rollover hitch, but I didn't put any of that on there. But the ability to take that off really easily is really nice. Another thing I did with this, guys, and I'm gonna show you. What I did, one of the things, is I've seen bail on rollers where this mechanism, it goes straight down and fits right over top of this, right over top of your axle. And that's good and bad. The things that I don't like about it is that it puts a lot of your weight forward. So it makes it to where you have to, if you'll watch other videos, you can stand back just a little bit, Savannah. Makes it to where you have to take this and lean it back some in order to pick this up and move it around. Okay. And that's because of the weight distribution. The weight is sitting right over top of this. So what I did here, and you can, you can look down in here at this, Savannah, come on in close. Come around this side and take a look at this. So I took this. We came out about five or six inches or so. Probably about five inches from the center. I don't remember exactly what it was. We came out from there and we moved our weight distribution back just a little. We didn't want to go too far or the weight of the bale was going to move it. But we moved it back just enough to set that weight off of there and offset it. Now let me show you what that does for you. Stand back over here. Stand and walk. If you want to grab this and move it around... Once you, you know, say that's latch, you just flip it off, grab it, easy to move. You don't have to adjust anything. You don't have to move any of this, okay? So you don't have to get this balanced back. You can easily take this, store it wherever you want. I apologize for the sound quality in this section. Sometimes when you're working on a farm, the wind can get pretty bad. But you can see here the ability to continue to move this around and how easy it is to get it hooked back up to the four-wheeler. The other really nice thing about this is that I can take this and move it to a hay bale, straight to the hay bale without any problem. And that means that I can do it without backing the four-wheeler up, which I demonstrate in the next clip. But another great thing about being able to grab this really quick is I have already experienced this. When you're in a bad spot that you can't quite get to, so I've got really rough terrain, okay? I had a spot where I was I had to get across a creek, so I could preset this bale with my tractor 
get across the creek. Now I can easily get this set where I want it and then bring my four wheeler up to it. Rather than backing my four wheeler through mud and through all of that and trying to back all of this up. Sometimes that comes in handy. All right, so another thing that I did on this bail unroller is I put a nice thick piece of steel on here. This is half inch thick steel. And the reason for that is I've seen a couple other people, they had, they were, they could take this spear and put it right into there, okay? So I changed that because we, I don't know where they're getting their bales, all right? But our bales are very tight, okay? Not all of them, but where we're getting them from, I'll just go ahead and tell you, we're getting them from her dad, all right? And her dad does not play around. She get, He gets a good tight bale. So some of your bales are gonna be tight enough, it's gonna be hard to get in right at that last bit. So even though we can grab it, I did it like this first off, so you kinda of got a handle you can twist around on, but also you've got a nice thick pad, so if you gotta hit it in there, you can. Okay, and see like that, that went in just fine. But if it didn't, every now and then, you know, it's not hard, you can grab it, twist it, that way you can get it back out. That's kind of the idea. Other than that, you still got a good spot you can kick it right in. I really could come up just a little on that. How's that look, babe? Right there. See, and that's fine. That's fine. But just every now and then you do get some that are tight like that. So it's nice to be able to hit it if you got to. All right, so guys, I'm going to show you one of the other things that I really like about this. Because of the way this is, this sitting back like I talked about, it takes the weight of the bale once the bale's on here, and it puts just enough pressure back that way that the trailer is still balanced now even afterwards so there's not a huge amount of weight on this tongue so this is something i really like about about this right here so i can unhook this now i will say this y'all come over here and do this before beforehand i'm gonna show you this i'm not saying that this is safe all right so i'm not suggesting you do this on any anything i'm just telling you what i'm about to do so you take that for what it is but in places i have been in places where i've needed to take this trailer off okay if for some reason you ever did, feel it, make sure that it's not pushing upward. If it's pushing upward like that, and you go taking that loose, it could hit you in the face, mess you up, don't do that. If it's pushing downward, it's probably got all this weight pushing down on your tongue, okay? I can move this easily. I know, I've done this enough, I know that I'm safe. So just be safe, I'm not trying to tell anybody to do anything unsafe. But I'm gonna show you real quick, getting this off of here. Another scenario that's great for me is, I'll unroll a bale, and then I'm still working, I'll go get another bale, get it all on there, that way the next day I can go back to work. But I don't want it stuck to my folder, so it's nice for whatever reason, to me it's nice to be able to take this off, all right? So, pop the loose, I can grab it, just like that. I apologize for the wind in this section, but if you take this, you do have to make sure you keep your balance just right. But as long as you keep it well balanced and don't let it flop backwards, on you then it is perfectly fine and very easy to manage just make sure that you are being safe need to lay it right back in there like i said the, the places that i have found that i need this is if you get in a bad hole and you can't you just can't quite get out it's nice to be able to take that off get readjusted because i found myself basically i was trying to unroll hay over some really rough terrain but it was also full of weeds and stuff so it wasn't so much the terrain as it was the big tall weeds that i'm going over top of all right so in unrolling on top of that i ended up spinning out and got jackknifed in there if i wasn't able to do that it had been difficult to get back out of that situation so if i had been able to take it loose and then get resituated back square again now i can pull back out of there it makes a big difference for me like I said, I'm not telling you to do that. You do whatever you want. All right, now we're going to go unroll this thing. All right, so we've got one last modification to talk about. And I'm going to talk about that here in just a minute. But I know there's two things that you are going to be upset if I don't show you. Number one, you're going to be mad if I don't unroll this so you can see it. You've already heard about it in a couple videos, so I'm going to do that. Number two, I know everybody in the comments is going to be talking about these holy pants. Yes, I agree. They are holier than me, okay? 
But with that being said, I live on a farm. Nobody can see me except whoever's watching this video. So that's that's enough. Go ahead and talk about it. Just just don't talk about it. All right. So. This is pretty much just self-explanatory, obviously. One thing I, I like to do myself is I like to unroll these bales in reverse unless I'm trying to really intensely mob something. So if I'm really trying to get it mobbed up real tight and I want a lot of pressure in that one area, then I'll go ahead and unroll it in forward okay but one of the really nice things about just having a bail unroller period i don't care what bail unroller it is is that you can unroll it in reverse and really spread that out spread the seeds out spread the fertilization out you're spreading the fertilization of your cow manure you're spreading your impact out especially if you got wet soil helps a lot okay so now are you talking about the bail in reverse or the four-wheeler in reverse <laughs> <laughs> So actually, that is a good question, really, because I'm actually talking about putting the bale in reverse. So putting it in the opposite direction that you would normally unroll it if you were to unroll it down a hill or something like that. The opposite direction that it needs to be unrolled to unroll fast. But what I, the reason I'm glad you brought up that question is because I have unrolled these things in reverse. Okay, so if you, no matter how you put it on, if you realize, oh man, I put it in reverse and I didn't want to I actually want to unroll it uh, the fast way all you gotta do is put it in reverse and back up that's not a problem at all in fact when I was uh, I was there's a tight spot over here I got a video coming up a bad spot really bad weeds and everything I put some great impact in there y'all stay tuned for that video but there was some really bad spots I put a drive through without getting the face all torn up and weeds and there were weeds this high I just backed up into there. I could back all the way right up to the edge of a creek. Boom, I was done. So, yeah, that's actually a really good question. You can go forward, reverse, or whatever you want to do. So, when you want to release all of this, this is all pretty much the same. You know, you just kind of get all of that release. Just enough. Nothing complicated there. And of course, it's still set to where all of that's easy to get off. That way, anybody can take it off. I mean, what when you did it, Savannah... You thought mm -hmm. it was fairly easy, didn't you? Yeah, it was easy. Okay, good deal. That was one of the things I wanted to make sure was that it was easy enough for anybody to put out hay because right now with my tractor, the way it is, not everybody can put out hay, okay? I can get my eight-year-old nephew to come out here and feed hay for me, okay? I'm not worried about it. Before, on my tractor and stuff, I just wouldn't have had him do that. So this is, this is nice for those reasons. We're going to unroll this, and then I'm going to tell you about the last one. So we're not going to drag the video out too much longer. We're going to have more videos showing y'all the rest of all of this, okay? But I want y'all to look at how much, how far we got this one unrolled. Some of them unroll more than this. I mean, I've got hay all the way up in here, and I've got hay all unrolled all the way around. So some of them unroll more, some of them unroll less. It just depends on your windrow. If you've ever baled hay, you know that. Um, 
So we're going to show you all some more, but we are going to end this video here pretty soon once I show you this last little tip. Okay, lift that up. So, let's get to the last point. Oh. Alright guys, so I wanted to show you all this. This is one of the hills that we've got. I'm going to actually try and show you. Walk walk on the side of that hill there, Savannah. Walk down just a little bit. I want to, I want to show you. Walk down a little bit where it's a little bit steeper. Right in here somewhere. Kind of try to give you an idea. It's really hard to to tell for sure. To When I tell you all about our hills here, it's kind of difficult to tell you, give you a good view. But this is a four-wheeler that I've actually... I mean, this is a hill that I've actually rolled a four wheeler on this hill um, before if you're not careful you know now we actually rolled it just because we hit a hole that we didn't know was there point being if y'all have driven a good honda four wheeler you know they're more difficult to roll than you might think but this is a pretty steep incline as i come down in here so what i did to adjust and change my four wheeler just a little bit so that i'm able to deal with places like that as you can see here these are rough spots right in here and it's not that we can't brush hog. I mean, you can brush hog down and you can pr brush hog diagonal and you can also back up and down there, which is what I which is what I actually do. But sometimes, not everybody has a good tractor and brush hog. Not everybody has something they can get on a steeper incline and not everybody even wants to, okay? So I actually took my wheel, my wheel span on this right here and I, I stretched it out just a little bit, okay? So instead of tucking it right in there, that wheel is pushed out that way just a little bit. And I also did it in such a way that I could actually turn this wheel all the way around. I could turn that and get just a little bit more width, kind of like you see on some of your tractor wheels. So that's kind of the last thing that I did there. I'm gonna get Savannah to watch me. I'm gonna drive on that incline. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I don't think you can really see just how inclined it is, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot. figured it would handle pretty well but I haven't put a hay bale on it I actually wanted to try it without there maybe I'll get another video where I'll unroll a bale across it um, but guys I think I'm gonna wrap that up here I want y'all to do me a favor I want you to like this video but I'm asking you to subscribe and if you want to see more on this right here or if you like farming at all hit the bell icon because the way YouTube's going they're not showing you all the videos unless you hit the bell so subscribe and then hit that bell thank you so much